Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to now at, at some point in Nigeria, the showbiz or the entertainment industry was dominated by reggae musicians, uh Pupa Riswiliki, Rats Kimono, Mandetos, Jack yeah. yes. uh Peter Sidotong, etc. 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 So, what are people like you doing to resuscitate those good old days? Well, a, a lot of things are going on. Uh, they might not be in the mainstream media. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, just this week, we had what we call uh, 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 reggae gospel concerts. You know, and it's like a movement which will be moving from one end to another. You know, we we'll have a lot of reggae shows going on. We may not have we may not have the uh, mega sponsorship, you know, like like we ought to. But um, if you if you are a reggae lover, you 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 have places you can go to to listen to reggae music. Okay, you go to Culture Yard, for example. I don't know if you know where Culture Yard is. Okay, you see. So because you are not a follower of reggae music, <laughs> so all, all all reggae lovers they know where they have their feel. Okay. So what 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 do you like most? about uh, being a reggae musician freedom of expression you know okay. i can express myself wholeheartedly you know um especially when you deal with the spiritual vibes you understand what i'm saying you know so i can express myself i feel most comfortable you know uh earlier in the days you may not know i was playing you know i was playing pop yeah i was producing pop i was you know, recording pop music, but when I, I didn't find myself comfortable on that, and reggae come my way, I said, okay, this is where we belong, you know, so I, I, I feel I feel proud that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a reggae musician. Okay. Now, what don't you like about being a reggae musician? You've talked about what you like. What don't you like about being a reggae musician? Segregation. Segregation. And that's one of the things we fought for. Remember those days, uh, you 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 see rastas with dirty dreadlocks. You understand? You see them smoking marijuana. You see everybody doing the drug thing. But we came out with some kind of with, with some kind of clean cut, you know, difference between what used to be and what we we came up with. Myself, Ras Kimono, uh, Mandatos. Neither of us smoke. Maybe only my budget. Neither of us smoke. You know, we wore our dreadlocks very clean. And so that way we were able to dine with the prince, kings and queens. But he said, you know, you, you see a rasta man come and say, this one don't smoke Igbo. You know, you, you move aside because you feel it is high. You know, his hairs are dirty, they are not, they are, they are unkept. But these are the things we came to change. And because of that, the acceptability was wide, you know. And so I didn't like the segregation in the beginning. But that was the reason we came into it. And I will tell you, we actually move it that far. You know? Oh. Yes, and, and that is why, when I say segregation, you can see it's one of the reasons we are not getting the mega sponsorship. The mega sponsorship, you know, there's deep segregation. I'm in the media. I'm in the, in, 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 in the business. And so when we send proposals to some of these mega companies, once it's reggae, there's a way they look down on it so what uh, what distinguishes uh, reggae music from the other uh, kinds of uh, music well reggae music is identified by its lyrical content reggae music is spiritual so it's not supposed to be a kind of music where you 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 start singing slackness profanity reggae can't claim with the lyrics that is the real reggae music that we know if you remember that when all of us were up in the air the youth, we had less courtism. Yes or no? We had less courtism. We had less children going to drugs. You know? Now, even 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 the usual um, uh, marijuana is no longer enough now. You know, there are other things they take now. But in our days, you see that because of the heavy content that was coming out from the stations, the radio stations, it affected the psyche of the youth. And so there were no courtism. There were no, there were no waywardness. There was no, ba you know, banditry. There was no kidnapping. I don't know if you remember. 
Yeah, we used to go on tour. We used to go on tour of this country. Sometimes three months on the road, doing the, the southwest, doing the northeast on the road. You don't come back to Lagos for such an amount of time. You see, we, uh, 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 my crew is going to Cardona. Uh, my concrete crew is returning from Joss. Sometimes we meet on the way we will park and with our long buses. You know, the road was free. There was nothing like, you know, insecurity. You know what I'm saying? So because you had a lot of things that people were inside of people. So today you don't have such. Now what you have on our airwaves are uh, first very violent, really, you know? Yes, a lot of violence because music is, 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 is like a medicine. You can use music to heal. You can use music to caution people. You can use music to go to war. So it's very powerful. 